Back on 89 won the bash and news channel 15 YouTube for the second half of our doubleheader Warriors basketball action. Uh, great matchup for the women's matchup. Finished 92 to 90. Wabash Valley just able to come away with a win. Now it's a men's matchup. Uh, Southwestern Illinois takes on your Wabash Valley Warriors in basketball. The Warriors on a hot streak. Winners of four in a row. Eight of their last nine. Ten and three overall. Six and zero oh here at home. Trying to keep that going. They're at home. They protect the Spencer Sports Center well. They try to do that again against a conference opponent. For Southwestern Illinois, a number of returners on this team. Jacoby Heddleston, very good player for them. I remember from last year, as well as Nzube Mecham. He's a smaller guy that rebounds really well. Wabash Valley looking to continue their hot streak. The last time out here at the Spencer Sports Center, a crazy matchup that ended up in an overtime win against Kaskaskia. Going into that one, Wabash Valley was... 9-3, Kaskaskia 14-2. Brandon Razor Moore, a half-court shot at the buzzer to send it to overtime, and then eventually the Warriors came away with the, end, with the win. After a big-time emotional win like that, sometimes it can be hard for a team to bounce back the next game after riding that high. That'll be the test for the Warriors today. Can they keep the emotions in check and continue that winning streak? The starters for your Warriors, Lucas, Cash, Henderson, Daniel Robinson, the, two, the point guard, putting together a really good stretch of games really this entire semester since the second semester season got underway. Him and this next guy, Kaleem Taylor, have been on fire. Julian McGowan starting down low as well for Wabash Valley. And then, of course, running it out. The hero of last game on Saturday, Brandon Razor Moore, the lone returner to this team from last year, started being able to play once the second semester happened, and he has been on fire since he started playing, coming in at 17.2 points per game, the leading scorer for this Warriors team. Crack basketball, big time matchup. Warriors in the home whites, black lettering. Swick in the road blues with white lettering. Wabash Valley will move left to right to start. Swick will move right to left. Five on the floor for Swick is Jamil Barber. Sexton Hepker, he's a return of their leading scorer. And Zube Mecham, Dallas Rufus, and Jacoby Heddleston. Veteran team for Swick, coached by the veteran coach Jay Harrington. They come in at nine and eight, Wabash Valley, 10 and three. It'll be McGowan and Hepker on the tip. Big time crowd here, the student section, mostly baseball team on tap. Tip is up, won by Hepker, knocked away for a second. Huddleston has it, he's on the ground, no travel call, baseball. Players wanted it, instead we're underway here, it'll be Swick basketball. Up top with it, Rufus here around the point, the Hepker right side. Now on the right side, Mick, I'm looking down low, he'll swing it back up top. Left side now. Rufus with it, and hand to Hepker, who hands right back. Top of the key, and Mick, I'm with it. Good defense, eight on the shot clock. Mick, I'm at the top of the key, picks up his dribble. Five on the shot clock, Rufus drives in, free throw line, pulls up for the jumper. No good off left, McGowan the rebound. McGowan throws it up to Razor Moore across the timeline. He'll go the other way. Finds Henderson, a little alley, you play up, Henderson gets it underway. Cash Henderson with the two points. Straight fine there from Razor Moore. Rufus sets up over the logo, guarded by Daniel Robinson, letting things develop. He'll find Meckham, gets it down to Hepker at the block. Kicked it back out. Meckham for three. That one's well too strong. Rebounded Daniel Robinson. The point guard rebounds well. Quickly up to Henderson. Left corner. Razor Moore, three ball in and out. Rebound to Hepker. Hepker, one of the leading rebounders in the nation, the leading rebounder for this SWIP team. Kickball on the other end. Barber trying to throw it down low to Huddleston. Henderson with the kick. 2-0 Wabash Valley, 18-47 left here in the first half, just underway at the Spencer Sports Center. Rufus on the trigger. He'll find up top Meckham. And Zube Meckham around the screen from Huddleston, driving down, spins, almost lost his dribble, kicked it out. Top of the key, Hepker with it. He'll cut in just outside the left elbow, jump shot off to the right. Rebound and put back is good from Jacoby Huddleston. All tied up at two. Kaleem Taylor the other way to run the point for the Warriors. He's picked up at the half court by Meckham. Taylor directing traffic. He'll drive to the left. 
Throws it up to McGowan off the glass. No good. Tip back. No good. Rebound sapped around. Meckham has it. He'll go the other way quickly. He cuts into the lane. Lost the ball. And they're going to call a foul. Blocking foul there. Meckham got going in a hurry. Lost the ball. But not before he was fouled. They say it's going to be on Daniel Robinson. No shot. Or they are going to say he was shooting. It didn't look like he was in the act of shooting to me, but they say he is. So in Zube Mecham going to the free throw line. And now they'll change it. And they'll have him. Okay, now they change it. Not a shooting foul. That's what I think is the right call. So they'll inbound it from underneath their own basket. Rufus on the trigger. 25 on the shot clock. Throws this one in. Heddleston lays it up. And it's good. Heddleston with four. 42, Blue Storm lead, early goings. 18 minutes left in the first half. Here comes a trap. Robinson almost lost it. He throws this one up. Epker takes it away. Cut off McGowan and McCallum fouls him from behind. So some sloppy basketball there. And Swick will keep it. They'll just inbound it from right to the right side of Wabash Valley's bench. It'll be Barber on the trigger. Henderson will guard him face up. Barber looking for help. He'll find Rufus, the point guard. He'll set things up. Around the screen. He's on the left wing. Now he'll cut in towards the paint. Hop step. Goes up to the left block. Off the glass. No good. Late foul call. That's two on McGowan already. McGowan might have to already go to the bench with two fouls. We'll see if Coach Terrence McGee goes to the bench. That one, no doubt about it. Rufus was going up for a shot, so he'll go to the free throw line. 78.8% shooter on the year from the charity stripe. Four to two early lead for the Blue Storm. That shot in and out. Rufus missed the first one. And now Sprinkles will check in for McGowan. So a bit of a smaller lineup here for Wabash Valley. Rufus at the free throw line for his second. Missed the first. It's up. And he made that one. Took a while but fell in. 5-2 lead for Swick here. 17-50. Left in the first half. Swift with the full court press. Henderson kind of trapped. Gets it to Robinson up to Brandon Razor Moore. Hepker fouls him. Razor Moore turned around right into Hepker. Hepker had a hand check. Lots of fouls here early on both sides. Got the Blue Storm's first, though. Three for Wabash Valley, one for Swick. Henderson will inbound it. 23 on the shot clock. Henderson looking for help. He'll find Daniel Robinson to run the point up top. Henderson, or excuse me, Robinson to Taylor now. Henderson on the left side jabs. Now he'll drive towards the baseline. Spins in. Fade away jump shot. That's all short off the front of the rim. Going to have a foul away from the ball on the rebound attempt. And that's going to go, looks like, against Swick. We'll see who they call that one on. That's going to be on R Dallas Rufus. And so Lucas Henderson to the free throw line. He's got the two points for Wabash Valley so far. First points of the game. First free throws up. It's money. Henderson, a 74% free throw shooter on the year. Makes it 5-3. Trying to make it 5-4 if we can hit both of them here. Second free throw up. Too strong. Hepker got away with a lane violation, and now he won't. I saw that one clear as day, and the referee called it as well. So Henderson will get another opportunity here. Henderson's got kind of a natural hitch at the top of his shot, caused Hepker to jump into the lane early. Henderson makes him pay. Made that one. It's 5-4. Rufus and Swick the other way now, right to left. Rufus calls out the play. Working against Robinson, he'll drive quickly in. Try to find a cut enough and narrow kick at the top of the key, Meckham. Outside the right elbow, finds Heddleston at the block. Shot's too strong, rebound to Robinson. Robinson the other way, finds Sprinkles on the left wing. Surveying, now he'll drive in. Goes up, reverse layup, off the glass and good. Sprinkles, the quick move. Sprinkles really turned it on in the second half and in overtime of that game against Kaskaskia, starting things off where he left him off here. 
Huddleston in the free throw line, kicks out to Barber, around a screen. Looking to get it down low, he'll throw it up for Huddleston. Throws it too far, taken away by Colleen Taylor the other way. Finds Robinson at the block, pump fake, goes up, he got it to go, it's 8-5. Wabash Valley forces a timeout. Defense leading the offense, Wabash Valley leads 8-5. 16-46 left in the first half, another great Greg matchup on hand. We'll be back here in 30 seconds. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a huge selection of Jeeps and Chryslers. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned inventory at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a complete lineup of Fords. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned Fords at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Zach Reynolds back here with you on 89.1 The Bash and News Channel 15 YouTube, the Warriors Sports Network. Warriors lead 8-5 here in the early goings of the first half of this crack matchup. After a big-time run there, Sprinkles drew to the hoop, and then a fast-break opportunity for Daniel Robinson. All of a sudden, they took the lead. It's 8-5. Swick with the basketball. Roof is the point guard. will bring it up. Robinson will pick him up defensively. Gets it to Huddleston. Top of the key. Right side back to Rufus. Rufus around the screen. Finds in the right corner. It's Hepker. Foul away from the ball. Looks like that's going to be on Sprinkles. Fouled Huddleston. Jacoby Huddleston, the big guy for the Blue Storm. He's got four points already for their five. They're trying to deny him the ball with the size disadvantage. Fouled him that time trying to do that. Rufus on the trigger. Just gets it in time to Meckham in the corner. Now at the right elbow, it's Huddleston. Takes it to Barber on the left wing. Back up top, 15 on the shot clock. Right side, Rufus. He'll cut in, now finds Barber. Top of the key, three ball, that's money. Barber only shoots 20% from three on the year, but he got that one. Ties it up at eight apiece. Taylor the other way for Wabash Valley. Hand off to Sprinkles on the right wing. Working against Hepker. He'll cut it in the lane. Finds Robinson left wing. Thought about the three and said he kicks to Razor Moore. Razor Moore drives, spins at the free throw line, goes into the paint. Couldn't finish. Sprinkles the rebound, put back, no good. Falls off to the left, host in a rebound. Sprinkles knocks it out of bounds. But it stays with Swick. Baseball players getting into this one, the student section here for Wabash Valley. All tied up at 8, 16 minutes left in the first half. Rufus the other way, running the point for Swick. Left side, Barber with it, just had that three moments ago to tie it up. Her dribble around, cuts in, right elbow, now the right block off the glass, and it falls. Barber with five in a row for Swick. Blue Storm take the lead back. A few lead changes already here. 10-8. Swick with the lead. Robinson gets to raise him over the logo. Now right side, Sprinkles. Top of the key. Daniel Robinson thought about the three. Pump fake. Now he'll drive in at the right elbow. Lost the ball. Taken away. The other way goes Rufus. Behind the back dribble at the logo. Now he'll swing over. Beckham cuts in. Finds Hepker just outside the restricted line. One power dribble at the left block. Spins around. Goes up. No good. Rebound tipped around. Colleen Taylor has it. He'll go the other way. Cuts in the lane. Euro step. And it can't get the end one, but he'll go to the free throw line. Great move by Taylor to get a shot off and get fouled while he was doing it. Had two defenders right there. Euro stepped around him. So he'll go to the line. If he can make both, he'll tie it up. Foul was on Jamil Barber. Taylor, a 77% free throw shooter on the year. Best on the team for Wabash Valley, besides Sprinkles, who's 79%. And that one's nothing but net for Kaleem Taylor. Saxton Hepker, their leading scorer for Swick, now to the bench, checking in for him. For the first time is Nazir Leonard. Much smaller than Hepker, so just the one big man, Huddleston, on the floor now for Southwestern Illinois. Taylor, life that short on the second free throw attempt. Missed that one, only one of two that time. 10-9, Swick with the lead, they've got the basketball. Right to left, Rufus with it, guarded by Henderson, up high right side. Rufus around a screen, picked up his dribble, swings it over to Barber. Now right wing, Leonard with it, finds Huddleston, and into the right block. He'll throw up a little hook shot, it's no good. Rebound tipped around, ends up out of bounds, stays with Swick. Last off of Razor Moore, they say. So 20 on the shot clock. And it'll be Rufus on the trigger, just to the left of his own basket. Henderson guards him face up. Now we got a foul away from the ball. It's going to be on Sprinkles. He picks up his second. So 
Sprinkles and McGowan, each with two fouls already. They'll inbound from the same spot. Rufus on trigger still. Finds Leonard at the right block, and Sprinkles picks up his third. That was a shot attempt for Leonard, so he'll go to the free throw line. A 63.6% free throw shooter, 9.8 points a game off the bench for him. 16 players on this roster for Swick, and they use all of them. They all get some minutes. Leonard, first free, first free throws up, and it is good. Makes it an 11-9 lead. Mujal Burton going to check in for the first time for Wabash Bradley. Sprinkles to the bench. So an all-guard lineup. Razor Moore, the tallest player on the floor for Wabash Valley right now. Second free throw, no good. Rebound to Taylor. Taylor will bring it the other way. Leonard picks him up in full court pressure. Leonard breaks the timeline. Or Taylor, excuse me. Taylor showing off the dribble moves. Crossover behind the back now. Swing over to Robinson. 15 on the shot clock. Mujal Burton, left wing. Huddleston over him. Right wing. Razor Moore thought about the three. Now he'll drive in. Kick. Robinson on the left wing. 10 on the shot clock. Top of the key, Taylor. Drives towards the Rockies. Foul. Barber with the reach in. That'll be Jamil Barber's second foul. So that'll reset the shot clock to 20 here. Kaleem Taylor will be on the trigger. Checking in for Swick. It's going to be Torian Mickens. And with two fouls, Barber to the bench. Ballish Valley, two to tie, three to take the lead. Taylor on the trigger, throws it up. Razor Moore, top of the key. Way downtown, it's money. Razor Moore, the pure shooter, knocks that one down, and they take the lead, 12 to 11. Rufus the other way. Henderson guarding him. Rufus on the right wing, waiting for things to develop. 20 on the shot clock. Three ball for Mickens from the left wing. Two strong rebounds after around. Razor Moore has it. Going the other way. Wabash Valley with numbers. Kicks it. Henderson fakes out one defender. Now he'll drive. Spins in. Kicks it to the top of the key. Taylor, extra pass to Burton on the left wing. He'll drive to the rack. Lays it off the glass and in. Great extra passes that time from Wabash Valley. And Southwestern Illinois needs a timeout. Wabash Valley battles back. Takes the lead. 14 to 11. 13 left in the first half. We'll be back here in one minute. New year, new style. Timberlake Furniture is kicking off the new year with the biggest sale to date. Whether it's a new mattress, cozy sofa, large dining set, or a statement piece that steals the show, Timberlake Furniture has it all. And with this sale's exclusive discounts, it's easier than ever to achieve your dream space. Make your house feel like home and stop by Timberlake Furniture to explore five acres of inspiration. College doesn't have to start at an expensive school far away. You can save money and be close to home at Wabash Valley College. Many careers only require a two-year degree or certificate. Or get your general education classes out of the way and transfer to a four-year school. Wabash Valley College has programs in high-demand careers such as physical therapy assistant, advanced manufacturing, marketing, business management, nursing, and radio television. To find out more about Wabash Valley College, go to iecc.edu slash wvc. Warriors with a 14 to 11 lead here against the Blue Storm at the Spencer Sports Center. Zach Reynolds bringing you the action on 89.1 The Bash and News Channel 15 YouTube, the Warriors Sports Network. 13 minutes, 47 seconds left here in the first half. The women, Lady Warriors, won their matchup against Southwestern Illinois, 92 to 90, a nail biter. This got that two point win in our first matchup of this doubleheader. And now, great matchup on hand once more, this time the men. The Warriors in the Blue Storm. Blue Storm with the basketball. Down three. Rufus running the point over the logo. Swings it over the right side. Leonard with it. Over the right wing. Razor Moore in his face. He'll pull up for three. Right in Razor Moore's face. It's too strong. Rebound to Robinson. Robinson, a good rebound at point guard. Swings it the other way. Razor Moore drives baseline. Kicks it the right corner. Henderson, three ball. Cash money. Henderson, the lights out three point shooter. Add another one to his season total. Quickly the other way. Leonard with it, working against Henderson, drives towards the left block, throws up a shot, and it's an and one for Nazir Leonard. Got a lucky bounce off the glass with the contact. Leonard getting his shots up since checking in. So it'll be on Lucas Henderson. It's his first foul. It's the team six, though. 
So the Blue Storm will be in the bonus the rest of the way already with 13 minutes left, 13 minutes and 11 seconds left in the first half. Leonard's free throw is short and off to the right. Couldn't complete the end one play. Quickly the other way, Robinson, just an 18 foot jump shot. It's money, nothing but net for Daniel Robinson in the mid range. Really effective mid range score. He's got four. Quickly the other way, Leonard shoots it again. He missed it again at the block. Rebound Wabash Valley. Bounce pass from Razor Moore to Robinson, right wing. Colleen Taylor, top of the key. Thought about the three. Now he'll cut in, step it back out. Razor Moore, left side now to Burton. Working against Huddleston. He'll step back. Now cut in, spins at the right elbow. Kicks it. Colleen Taylor, extra pass to Razor Moore. He'll spin back his guy down, a blocking foul. Foul on Meckham. That'll reset the shot clock to 20. It was getting low, down to 11. And Zube Meckham picks up a foul. Five on the floor for Wabash Valley. Razor Moore, Robinson, Burton, Henderson, and Jamar Sanders just checked in. He's another lights out three point shooter. Him and Henderson both shooting over 40% from three on the year. Henderson's got one already today, as does Brandon Razor Moore. Daniel Robinson underneath his own basket and to the right of it will be on the trigger. Big man Demarcus Bean checks in for South Southwestern Illinois. He's tall and he's got some strength on him, some muscle. Him and Hapker are both in the game. Hapker listed at 6'8". Don't have a listed height for Bean, but he's at least 6'8 as well. Wabash Valley's got the inbound play now. 12 minutes, 36 seconds left in the first half. Robinson on the trigger. Looking for help. Finds Henderson in the right corner. He'll swing it out. Stop with Burton. Burton on the right wing. Working against the big man. Bean picked up his dribble. Finds Razor Moore. 12 on the shot clock. Razor Moore jab steps. Jabs again. Gets the ball knocked out of his hands. Gets it back. Eight on the shot clock. Razor Moore around the screen. Gets going towards the rack. Pulls up for a jump shot. Off the glass. The bank is open. Razor Moore, two more points. 21-13. Wabash Valley building a lead. Rufus the other way from southwestern Illinois. Finds Leonard up high right side. Sanders all over him. Barber at the top, hands right back to Leonard. Leonard drives into the paint, splits two defenders. He's rejected by Robinson. Everything turning up right now for Wabash Valley, the offense and the defense. Nazir Leonard loves to get his shots up when he's in the game. I can tell that already. I don't know that he's touched the ball yet without shooting it. Got blocked that time. 14 on the shot clock. Rufus to the right of his own basket on the trigger. Wanting to throw it up to Hapker. And he does, up top, right back down to Bean, the big man, turn around, left hook, no good, put back, falls. The other way, Daniel Robinson with it, will hand off to Henderson on the right wing, he'll split into the paint. Robinson on the right corner, and he'll drive, pulls up for the jump shot outside the right elbow area, too strong, rebound Bean. Bean gets it off to Leonard, he'll hand it back to the point guard, Rufus. Rufus. Directing traffic now. We'll swing the left side with Barber. Now the left corner, Hepker. Down to Bean at the block. He lost the dribble. Chases it down in the right corner. Tries to find a cutting. Barber taken away. Picked off by Razor Moore. Up to Robinson. At the right block. And one! Daniel Robinson, the point guard, finishing with authority. And now he gets teed up while he's on the floor. He gets teed up for taunting while he's on the floor. I don't know about that. Either way, he's got a free throw, but then it'll be, then it'll be, well, first they're gonna do Southwestern Illinois free throw. Maybe either way, we're each gonna get a free throw here. Daniel Robinson with a crazy and one fast break bucket, and then gets, and then a technical foul assessed. And so actually they're, they're going to call the foul, the technical foul on Sanders for some, some sort of taunting uh, after the end one bucket for Robinson. So Jamil Barber shoots a free throw. He missed it. Ball don't lie. Barber, an 81% free throw shooter, missed the first. He gets one more. And then it'll be Robinson on the other end with a free throw. And he missed them both. I'll say it again. Ball does not lie. 
And now Robinson will get a chance to complete the and one play with his free throw. It's 23-15, Wabash Valley. 11-17 left here in the first half. Still a close game, but Wabash Valley starting to build momentum. Robinson with six points already, a chance to make it seven here. Free throws up, and it's no good. Rebound to Hepker. Southwestern will bring it up now. Rufus, they get it swung over to. He's guarded by Henderson around the screen. He kicks it to Barber. Barber up top around the screen from Bean, now finds Rufus. 15 on the shot clock. Rufus jabs left and goes right around the screen. Now finds Barber on the right wing. Razor Moore in his face. Barber on the dribble. Finds Leonard in the right corner. Down to Bean at the block. Hop step. Spins around. Left it short. Got his own rebound. Put back way too high off the glass. Rebound Robinson the other way. Robinson on the right wing. Finds Henderson. Back up top to Burton. Left side Sanders. Jabs a couple times. Now he'll dribble towards the top of the key. Burton on the right wing. Now Henderson right corner. He'll pull up for three. No good, off to the left a bit. Rebound to Nazir Leonard. 23-15, still the score. 10-25 left in the first half. Two-point jump shot is money for Dallas Rufus. Pulled up just inside the three-point line at the top and got two points to fall. And now Sanders throws that the inbound pass well over Robinson. A costly, unforced turnover there. And because it was thrown from an out-of-bounds area, the Southwestern Illinois gets the ball right underneath their own basket instead of out here by the half court line. It'll be Jamil Barber on the trigger. Throws this one up. Taylor tipped it, but Rufus corrals it. He's at the top of the key, guarded by Burton. He'll kick. Barber, right wing, three ball. Money. 20% on the year, but uh, he's got two of them already. Wabash Valley going to call a timeout. We've got a great Greg matchup on our hands. 23-20 to the score. Wabash Valley with a three-point lead. Ten minutes, four seconds left here in the first half. We'll be back in one minute. You already know that the First National Bank is your real community bank, but have you met our people? It's the people inside that make us a community bank. We live here. We work here. We're your neighbors and your friends. When you bank with us, your money is reinvested in your community. At the First National Bank, our customers are more than an account number. People are the reason for this community. We're your hometown bank, serving the area since 1906. We are the First National Bank, where our people make the difference. Come see us today. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. The Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has an outstanding service department. With free pickup and delivery, we'll make sure your vehicle runs perfectly at an affordable price. Come see us today or view our service specials at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. News Channel 15, winner of the Intercollegiate Broadcasting System Award for the nation's best community college TV station. Back here at the Spencer Sports Center, Great Rivers Athletic Conference basketball action. Wabash Valley against Southwest Illinois. The Warriors with a 23-20 lead right now with 10 minutes, 4 seconds left in the first half. Both teams have had a couple of runs. So we're pretty even so far. Wabash Valley with the ball moving left to right. Five on the floor for the Warriors. Taylor, Burton, Henderson, Razor Moore, and Sanders. Taylor running the point, almost lost his dribble. Gets it to Henderson, who puts it right back in his hands. Taylor over the logo, calls out the play. Let things develop, 15 on the shot clock. He'll drive towards the right wing, now cut in the paint. Kicks it in the corner, Barber intercepted it. The other way, Rufus has it. Across the timeline, now top of the key, free throw line, left elbow off the glass, left it short, rebound to Brand Razor Moore. Going the other way. Bounce pass to the trailer, Burton right wing, three ball, money! Good awareness there from Razor Moore to get it to the trailer who was wide open on the right wing. That's Muja Burton. Rufus at the top now. Henderson on him. Driving towards the left. Gets it to the left elbow. Huddleston with it. Finds Rufus over the right wing. Now right corner Barber trying to get it down low to Hepker. Nothing there. He'll swing it back up top. Left side. Leonard will take a three ball from the left wing. He got it. Leonard with three. He's got seven points. Or make it eight. Leonard likes to get his, get his shot up, and he's got eight points right now. He's only averaging nine. Good first half for him. 
Back to a three-point lead for Wabash Valley, 26-23. Taylor over the logo, 20 on the shot clock. Taylor around the screen for Burton. No, goes left, pulls up from the left elbow. That one in and out. Rebound to Rufus. He'll bring it the other way. Trying to find a cutter, he'll swing it over to Leonard. Up high, Henderson, or Sanders on him. Leonard driving to the rack, goes up. Off the glass, no good, but he's fouled. He, every time Leonard touches the basketball, he's going to put a shot up. That foul is going to be called on Jamar Sanders. Leonard, one of three from the free throw line this evening. 63.6% on the year. He'll have two from the charity stripe here. That one's another Manette. Daniel Robinson checks back in. Jamar Sanders to the bench. So it'll be Robinson, Burton, Taylor, Anderson, and Razor Moore on the floor for Wabash Valley. Leonard's second free throw up. It's no good. Rebound tipped up in the air. Burton flies up and takes it away. Quickly the other way. Henderson on the right side. Kicks it top to Gee Taylor. Extra pass. Burton left wing. Three ball. Money! Huddleston right there in his face. Did not matter. Burton feeling it from beyond the arc. 29-24. 8-13 left in the first half. Rufus around the screen on the left wing. Kicks it to Hepker. Short left corner. Henderson on him. Trying to back him down towards the block. He'll swing across. Leonard, deep right wing, three ball, in and out. Rebound tipped around, and Barber has it. He'll take a little floater from just outside the block area, off left. Henderson the rebound, up to Robinson, across the timeline. Left corner, Killeen Taylor, three. No good. Burton comes flying in, rebounds knocked around. It's in the hands of Leonard. He'll take it the other way for Swick. Now he'll pull up, picks up the dribble, finds his point guard, Rufus. Up high right side, now at the right wing, swings it. Skip pass to Barber on the left wing. Finds Leonard, who's in at the block. Spins, goes up. That's rejected by Razor Moore. And they're going to call a foul. It was not on Razor Moore. Now Swick wants a goaltending. I don't think that should be. It looked like that one was still on its way up. But they're going to count it? Yes, they're, they're going to count it. So they're going to call goaltending, it looks like, on Razor Moore. Foul was on Burton. So it'll be Leonard at the free throw line. Chance to make it a two point game. It's 29 to 26 right now. Shot up and it falls. Hit the front of the rim, back of the rim, and then fell in for Nazir Leonard. Robinson swings it in the middle to Henderson. All the way up. Taylor alone in the right corner. Now he'll drive baseline against Huddleston. Spins around. Kicks it. Top of the key. Robinson. Extra pass. Burton. He'll cut it in. Now kick it out. Robinson. Top of the key. Pump fake. Drives in. Gets it taken away by Rufus. Rufus the other way at the left block. Razor Moore strips it away from him. Out of bounds. Stays with Swick, but Razor Moore prevents the fast break bucket. 29-27. 7 minutes, 13 seconds. Left in the first half. Swick with a basketball underneath their own basket. Rufus on the trigger. Looking for somebody. Now throws it up to Huddleston over the logo. He'll swing off to Leonard. No, he likes to shoot. He'll go around a screen at the top of the key now. Picks up his dribble. Swings to Rufus. Down to Huddleston at the block. He'll go up. No, he commits the charge. Henderson draws it at the block. Huddleston committed the charge, and Wabash Valley gets the ball back. So they keep that two-point lead, trying to add to it with seven minutes, three seconds left in the first half. It's 29-27 WVC. Robinson will bring it up the court. Leonard showing full court pressure on him. Quickly up to Henderson, knocked out of bounds by Hepker. Stays with Wabash Valley. Under seven minutes now, 6.59 left. 27 on the shot clock. Burton will inbound it from just to the right of the scorer's table, now in front of the scorer's table. He'll throw it into Robinson, and will step across the timeline and run the offense. Robinson up high, left side, around the screen for Burton, and now Razor Moore on the right wing. Almost lost the dribble, kept it, though. Swings over, Burton on the left wing. Pump fake, fouled by Huddleston. Got the pump fake, got Huddleston to reach in. So Huddleston with two quick fouls in the last minute or so. And Wabash Valley will go to the free throw line for the bonus. One and one here. Burton is going to have to make the first to earn the second, it's going to be one and one. Ashley Kitchen checks into the game for the first time for Swick. 
Burton, an 81.3% free throw shooter on the year. First one's up, he made it and he earned the second. Burton with nine points, a chance to make it 10 here in the first half. If he can make this next free throw, that also would increase the lead from three to four. And he did just that. 31 to 27, Wabash Valley with the lead, Burton with 10 points in the first half. 6.40 to go in the first half. Swick with the basketball over the right. Barber with it, or excuse me, I think that Meckham finds Kitchen off the glass, no good, gets his own rebound. Put back, blocked by Razor Moore. Taylor the rebound, Wabash Valley the other way. Taylor threw it right into the hands of Leonard. Leonard now going in transition. He gets it, oh, a bad foul call there. Taylor slapped the ball out of his hands and they call a foul. And Leonard was on his way up, so he'll have two free throws coming. They're in the double bonus, so they'd have two free throws anyway, regardless of if it was a shot attempt or not. So Leonard at the line, he shot a lot of free throws already, but that's because he's shooting so much. First one's good. He's made five of nine from the line. Or excuse me, five of eight from the line. Second one's up, he made that one too. So now he's six of nine from the line. 31-29, two point game, Wabash Valley with the lead, trying to break the press. Back to Robinson, now up to Burton across the timeline, up high on the right side. Burton crosses over, crosses out back over, steps back, kicks it to Razor Moore at the top of the key, he'll pull up for three. That one a little strong, rebound to Meckham. Rufus the other way. On the right side, it kicks to Leonard. Gets it down to Bean, the big man, in the short right corner. Trying to back down Razor Moore. Spins, goes up off the glass, and it falls. Got the lucky roll. 31 to 31, we're all tied up. Taylor over the left wing for Wabash Valley. Working against Hepker. He'll step back. Thought about the three. Now he'll take it. Step back. Two ball, long two they call it. That one was too strong. Rebound to Leonard. Blue Storm with a chance to take the lead. A seed of a pass through. Hepker's hands and out of bounds. Good find there from Leonard, and he put some, a, a lot on that pass, and Hepker couldn't handle it. Wabash Valley catches a break. Had a man open on a fast break. Robinson will bring it the other way, a chance for Wabash Valley to take back the lead with five minutes, 30 seconds left in the first half. Robinson around the screen for Razor Moore. To the rack, tried to go up for a poster, no good. And on the rebound, he stepped out of bounds. The 6'2 point guard, Daniel Robinson, tried to put a poster on somebody, just couldn't quite get up high enough. So the team's trading turnovers back and forth here. Swick with the basketball, Rufus over the logo. Got a choice of screens, he'll go right. On the right wing, finds Hepker down at the block, lost the dribble momentarily, he'll turn around, jump shot, no good. Just threw it up with the left hand. He got the foul call, Robinson didn't on the other end, Terrence McGee not happy about it. Either way, Saxton Hepker, their leading scorer, not scored yet today, but he's at the line with a good chance to do so. And a chance to take the lead for his blue storm. Shout up, nothing but net. 64% free throw shooter on the year. Thirty-two, thirty-one lead. Thirty-three to thirty-one now as Hepker made both. Robinson the other way. Here comes a trap. Swing it over to Burton. Now up to Taylor on the right wing. Finds Razor Moore short corner. Gather step goes up. He's hacked. Shot went in and out, but he'll go to the free throw line. Demarcus Bean fouled him. So Brandon Razor Moore with five points here goes to the free throw line. Misspoke earlier, said Kaleem Taylor was the best free throw shooter on the team. By percentage, Brandon Razor Moore is with 84.6% on the year. And I uh, got an announcer's jinx as that one rolled out. That's on me, Brandon. Missed the first one. 5.06 left. El Haji Diop checks in for Wabash Valley, his first action in this one. Razor Moore, second free throws money. 33-32, one point lead for the Blue Storm. They'll try to add to it here. Moving right to left. Rufus with it. Around the screen, swings over. Meckham up top on the left side, now top of the key. Working against Razor Moore, he'll swing it over to Rufus. Now right wing, Nazir Leonard with it. Jabs right, 
Thought about pulling up, finds Hepker, right elbow, pulls up a jump shot, it's well short, Taylor the rebound. Taylor the other way, doesn't have numbers, flies to the right block, and one, Kaleem Taylor! Hepker fouled him, it didn't matter, Taylor with the finish. Takes the lead for Wabash Valley and a chance to make it a two point lead if he can complete the and one play. That's Hepker's second foul here in the first half. Kaleem Taylor, one of two from the line tonight. At the line for the three point play. He got it. 35-33, 4-41 left in the first half. Wabash Valley with a two-point lead. Rufus needs help. He'll end down to Barber, who'll get it right back to him. Now Rufus will bring it up and run the point for Swick. Gets his play from Coach Jay Harrington. Over the right wing, or the left wing, rather. He's now at the top of the key. Swings over to Barber. Left wing. Meckham quickly down to Bean at the block. Head goes up with the left hand, and the big man got it to go. Rose above. Tied up at 35. Colleen Taylor, right wing. Step through, now jabs. Drives to the left, finds Diop on the road. One power dribble, turn around. Shot up, it's money. Diop with the fade away. Showing off the touch, the big man. Right side, Barber now, right wing, Leonard. Down to Bean, Diop on in, picked up his dribble. Swings it out, Mecham drives in. No good, Diop with the good straight up defense and the rebound. Up to Burton, Wabash Valley with numbers. Burton, right corner, Razor Moore, three ball. Too short. Rebound to Burton. Bounce pass, finds Dia. Pump fake, goes up. Shot blocked from behind. The other way goes Rufus. Bounce pass up to Meckham. Pump fake, off the glass and good. Meckham, good move there on the pump fake. That's his first bucket. Tied up at 37. Three and a half minutes left. Robinson running the point. Up high, left side. Around the screen from Diop. Into the middle, pulls up for two. Money. Daniel Robinson feeds on the mid-range game. He's got eight points. Meckham left side, he'll drive towards the rack. Little floater is good in Razor Moore's place. Meckham getting going now. Still tied up, now at 39. Three minutes left, Robinson gets the play from Coach McGee. Calls it out, bounce pass to Diop. Into the corner, Burton right corner, three ball. No good, off the left, rebound to Barber. Blue Storm a chance to take the lead the other way, Leonard with it. Cuts into the lane, a foul, no shot, but he'll go to the line for two as it's double bonus. Tried to gather step, kind of hop step there, and he got fouled while he was doing it. It's going to be on Daniel Robinson. So Nazir Leonard back to the free throw line. He's got 14 points, a lot of them coming from that free throw line. And another one there for him. He's now eight of 10 from the free throw line tonight. He also has a three ball and a couple of two point baskets. Didn't start this game, came in off the bench and he's been in there since and he's putting up shots in a hurry. Second free throw up, well, short rebound, out of bounds off of Meckham. Wabash Valley gets it back. Blue Storm with a one point lead, 40 to 39, two minutes, 47 seconds left in the first half. Robinson to bring it up, run the point for coach Terrence McGee. Try to take the lead back. Razor Moore now up high, now back to Robinson up high on the left side. Working against the letter behind the back, thought about pulling up. Now he'll bounce it off to Razor Moore. Cuts in, just outside the block area, throws up a shot off the glass, no good. Up to Leonard. Swick had the rebound. Leonard will get it to Rufus over the logo, and he'll slow things down a bit. Calls out the play. Now he'll work against Henderson. Top of the key, he'll pull up just inside the three-point line for two. That's no good. Rebound to Robinson. Robinson quickly up to Henderson in front of the Swick bench. Behind the back dribble. Thought about pulling up. Kicks it back out. Robinson the trailer. Now Henderson in the left corner. Three ball. No good. Too short. Rebound to Ashley Kitchen. Quickly up to Rufus. Two on two. Rufus takes it himself, knocked out of bounds by Robinson, heads up play there. Knocked out of bounds, lets his defense come back and get set up. Under two minutes now in the first half, 157 to play. Burton checks back in. Taylor, Burton, Henderson, Razor Moore, and Robinson on the floor for Wabash Valley. Rufus on the trigger underneath his own basket. 
with a one point lead, trying to add to it. Throws it up to Kitchen and no, past Kitchen to Barber. Now right wing, Meckham back to Barber up top. Left wing, Leonard. Leonard, you can tell, thinking about the three. Instead, he'll swing it to the top. Now Meckham, right side, long two is good. Meckham's got six now. 42 39 lead for Swick. Raisa Moore up to Burton on the right wing. Right corner, Henderson, three ball. No good, Henderson couldn't make that one. Now we're gonna have a uh, referee stoppage here. Looks like Leonard has got some blood or something. They're, they're making Leonard clean something up here. So the team's to the bench while Leonard cleans something up. I can only assume that he's got some blood on his jersey somewhere which requires a stoppage. Right now it's 42 to 39, the Blue Storm with a slim lead here at the Spencer Sports Center. Minute 31 left in half in the first half. Zach Reynolds here with you on 89, one of the bash and News Channel 15 YouTube, the Warrior Sports Network. Wabash Valley trying to hold on to it. They're down here trying to keep it close at the end of the half, maybe try to rally back and take the lead back before we go into halftime. Both teams have gone on some big runs. It's been a pretty even match. Wabash Valley will go on a run, take the lead, then Swick will come right back. It's been back and forth all game long. Swick with the basketball, trying to add to their lead right now. They've been on a little bit of a run for the last minute or so. Under a minute and a half now. Rose is running the point. End of DeMarcus Bean at the free throw line. Turns around, faces up Razor Moore, spins, goes up at the block, left it short. And a late, late foul call on Razor Moore. I mean, that was, he was flown back on the floor there, and they call a foul on him. So DeMarcus Bean to the free throw line. I'm not doubting that that was a foul. I just don't like how late it is. I prefer that if you're going to call it, you call it as soon as it happens, not five seconds later when Razor Moore is on the floor. Bean, the big, tall left-hander at the free throw line, 20% from free throw on the year. That one too strong off the back iron. Being another one of those guys off the bench for Swick that likes to put shots up. Missed the second one. Rebound, Wabash Valley, Burton up to Henderson. One on two, spins, goes up in the left block, off the glass. Couldn't get the end one finish, but he'll go to the free throw line. That one's gonna be on Rufus. Darvish Valley count a break with Bean missing both free throws. Henderson at the free throw line, good shooter from there. Two or three from the line tonight, 74% on the year. First one here up, and nothing but net. Diop gonna check back in for Wabash Valley. Burton to the bench. For Swick, Leonard checks back in after he got himself cleaned up. And DeMarcus Bean to the bench. Also on the floor for Swick, fresh into the game, Toby Asan. Henderson trying to make it a one point game if he can make, make this next free throw. And he does, that one was nothing but net. 42-41, Swick with a one point lead trying to add to it, they've got the ball. 110 left in the first half. Meckham with it up top, running the point now. Over the logo now, he'll dribble towards the right wing. Waiting for things to develop. 15 on the shot clock, finds Leonard alone. Top of the key, three ball, off right, rebound. Hassan put back, falls off the glass. Hassan, fresh in, gets a bucket. 44-41, under a minute now, 45 seconds left. Taylor calls out the play. Left side now with Robinson. 15 on the shot clock, top of the key again. Taylor directing traffic, back to Robinson, up high left side, in the left elbow, D up. Tried to find Razor Moore, cutting, wasn't there, got knocked away, Leonard flying to the rack, it's blocked! Put back, blocked as well! Robinson and Taylor with the pair of blocks, ball on the floor, D up fouled! All right, we'll see if they call it on D up or if he was the one foul, they're gonna call it on Jamil Barber, his third, it'll be Wabash Valley ball. No, they'll call it on Diop. They were, oh, 
That's tough. Both guys going for the ball on the floor, and they call the foul against Wabash Valley. So Diop picks up a foul, and it'll be Jameel Barber at the free throw line. 0-2 there earlier on those technical free throws, but he's 81% on the year. Missed it again. That one short off the front of the rim. Burton checks back in for Diop. 44 to 41 is the score. Blue Storm with a three point lead. 19.2 seconds left in the first half. Barber at the free throw line. Missed another one. 0 for 4 tonight and a foul on Kitchen reaching over the back. Barber, an 81% free throw shooter. 0 of 4 right now. They actually called that on Hassan, not Kitchen. Either way, Brandon Razor Moore to the free throw line, trying to cut this one down before half. Razor Moore, first free throw up and good. Razor Moore with seven points now here in the first half. Second free throw up, make it eight for him. 44-43, back to a one-point game. Meckham running the point for Southwestern Illinois. Hands off to Leonard, way up high on the right side at the volleyball line. Holding for the last shot. Five seconds, Leonard drives towards the rack. Gather step, got away with the travel. Off the glass, no good. Henderson the rebound. Taylor up to raise more, can't get a shot off. So at halftime, it's a one-point game. What do I preach about every time we have a Wabash Valley men's basketball matchup? It's Great Rivers Athletic Conference men's basketball. It's a great game, no matter what, and that's the same here today. One-point game at halftime. Blue Storm with a one-point lead. Wabash Valley down by 144 to 43. We'll be back with a halftime show in three minutes. The Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has an outstanding service department. With free pickup and delivery, we'll make sure your vehicle runs perfectly at an affordable price. Come see us today or view our service specials at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. News Channel 15, winner of the Intercollegiate Broadcasting System Award for the nation's best community college TV station. Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a huge selection of Jeeps and Chryslers. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned inventory at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a complete lineup of Fords. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned Fords at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. There's a lot of things that you can do to help and reduce your heating bills over the winter time. You open the draperies in the house. Let the sun warm the interior of your home during the day. That helps reduce some of that heating load during the day. Consider installing programmable thermostats. You know, you can drop the temperature down while you're not there or in the evening times when you're asleep, make the house a little cooler and then have those programmable thermostats bring the temperature up uh, at the times you're actually in the home, uh, not away. New year, new style. Timberlake Furniture is kicking off the new year with the biggest sale to date. Whether it's a new mattress, cozy sofa, large dining set, or a statement piece that steals the show, Timberlake Furniture has it all. And with this sale's exclusive discounts, it's easier than ever to achieve your dream space. Make your house feel like home and stop by Timberlake Furniture to explore five acres of inspiration. College doesn't have to start at an expensive school far away. You can save money and be close to home at Wabash Valley College. Many careers only require a two-year degree or certificate. Or get your general education classes out of the way and transfer to a four-year school. Wabash Valley College has programs in high-demand careers such as physical therapy assistant, advanced manufacturing, marketing, business management, nursing, and radio television. To find out more about Wabash Valley College, go to iecc.edu slash wvc. New year, new style. Timberlake Furniture is kicking off the new year with the biggest sale to date. 
Whether it's a new mattress, cozy sofa, large dining set, or a statement piece that steals the show, Timberlake Furniture has it all. And with this sales exclusive discounts, it's easier than ever to achieve your dream space. Make your house feel like home and stop by Timberlake Furniture to explore five acres of inspiration. You already know that the First National Bank is your real community bank. Zach Reynolds back here with you on 89 won the Bash and News Channel 15 YouTube, the Warriors Sports Network. Big time, Great Rivers Athletic Conference matchup here between the Blue Storm of Southwestern Illinois and your Wabash Valley Warriors. Right now, the Blue Storm lead it by one, 44 to 43 at halftime. Both teams had big stretches there in the first half, kind of went back and forth. There was never, they were both hot at one time, really. It was mostly, you know, Swick was hot. Then WVC was hot. Then Swick was hot again. Then WVC, so on and so forth, back and forth. And it ended up with the Blue Storm ahead by one at halftime. Scoring summary for you. For the Blue Storm from Southwestern Illinois, their point guard, Rufus, with three. Meckham has six. Huddleston, their big man, with four. Had some foul trouble. So he went out early after he scored, I believe, their first four of the game. Jameel Barber with eight, including a couple of three balls for him. Off the bench, Nazir Leonard, he has 14. He's got a lot of shots, a lot of free throws, a lot of shots in general. He, that's how he's got so many points is he's shooting a lot. And some of them have fallen, some of them haven't, but uh, he's getting his shots up and getting fouled sometimes, so he's got 14. That leads all scores. Toby Isan, he's got two. He came in just in the last couple of minutes there and got a put-back bucket. And the other big man, Demarcus Bean, he's got four as well, the big lefty. Four, your Wabash Valley Warriors. Lucas Henderson has nine, including a three ball. Daniel Robinson's got eight. Clean Taylor with just two on free throws. Brandon Razor Moore's got eight. Burton leads Wabash Valley in scoring with 10, including two three pointers for him. And Diop and Sprinkles each have two. I think a big thing to point out for Wabash Valley right now is they're down by one in halftime, but Julian McGowan and Adrian Sprinkles have barely played because they both got in foul trouble. McGowan got two really early as a starter. When he got those two quickly, Sprinkles came in to replace him, and then Sprinkles got three almost as fast as McGowan had gotten two, so both of them have been on the bench. And Wabash Valley has been trying to have to find a way to guard the big man inside like Bean and uh, Huddleston and some others. And they've been able to hold their own a little bit, but I can imagine that Wabash Valley... Could be in a really good position in the second half if McGowan and Sprinkles can get some more playing time and not get right back into foul trouble. That's a big time thing to watch in the second half. Will Sprinkles and McGowan get back into foul trouble or can they stay in the game and change the game? Right now, Blue Storm lead by one, 44 to 43 over your Wabash Valley Warriors here at halftime. We'll take another few minute break and then we'll be back for more of the halftime show here on 89 on the Bash News Channel 15. The Warriors Sports Network. We'll be back in three minutes. Before coming to Senior Enrichment Center, I was so depressed that I couldn't get out of bed. That all changed once I started seeing Danielle, the social worker, and Melanie, the nurse. They have been so kind and they are truly care about my health. They have helped me to be able to go out and have shown me the importance of how to deal with my problems in a more constructive way. I think anyone who is experiencing grief, depression, anxiety, or isolation can benefit from this program. The Senior Enrichment Center has changed my life. There's a lot of things that you can do to help and reduce your heating bills over the winter time. Open the draperies in the house. Let the sun warm the interior of your home during the day. That helps reduce some of that heating load during the day. Consider installing programmable thermostats. You know, you can drop the temperature down while you're not there or in the evening times when you're asleep, make the house a little cooler and then have those programmable thermostats bring the temperature up uh, at the times you're actually in the home, uh, not away. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a huge selection of Jeeps and Chryslers. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned inventory at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a complete lineup of Fords. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned Fords at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. 
New year, new style. Timberlake Furniture is kicking off the new year with the biggest sale to date. Whether it's a new mattress, cozy sofa, large dining set, or a statement piece that steals the show, Timberlake Furniture has it all. And with this sale's exclusive discounts, it's easier than ever to achieve your dream space. Make your house feel like home and stop by Timberlake Furniture to explore five acres of inspiration. College doesn't have to start at an expensive school far away. You can save money and be close to home at Wabash Valley College. Many careers only require a two-year degree or certificate. Or get your general education classes out of the way and transfer to a four-year school. Wabash Valley College has programs in high-demand careers such as physical therapy assistant, advanced manufacturing, marketing, business management, nursing, and radio television. To find out more about Wabash Valley College, go to iecc.edu slash wvc. You already know that the First National Bank is your real community bank, but have you met our people? It's the people inside that make us a community bank. We live here. We work here. We're your neighbors and your friends. When you bank with us, your money is reinvested in your community. At the First National Bank, our customers are more than an account number. People are the reason for this community. We're your hometown bank, serving the area since 1906. We are the First National Bank, where our people make the difference. Come see us today. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Zach Cronin's here back with you at halftime. Right now, Swick leads 44-43 to over Wabash Valley at halftime here in the Spencer Sports Center. Swick with that one-point lead. Wabash Valley hit a couple of free throws towards the end of the half to get it within one. St both teams still this late in the halftime in the locker rooms. They both have a lot to talk over. It's a close matchup. It always is in Greg basketball. No matter which two teams are playing, it's usually pretty close. In conference action and region action, coming up, the Wabash Valley in the future schedule here, they've got Vincennes this upcoming Saturday. I'll be there at Vincennes with you on the radio on 89 One the Bash as well as Austin Harrelson. That's always a big-time matchup. Vincennes always very good, and I believe they are winning right now pretty handedly in their game right now. Uh, that they've got going on tonight. So we'll be at Vincennes on Saturday. Uh, that's a double header. First the uh, women's game and then the men's game. That should be really fun. And then coming up next week on Wednesday, we'll be at Olney Central. Once again, that's going to be a double header and conference play. Olney Central, really good men's team this year. So that'll be fun. Swift back out on the court now to get some warm-up shots up. Wabash Valley, I'm sure we'll follow them shortly. Coach Terrence McGee talking it over with the guys at halftime. I think really the big thing for Wabash Valley is they got into some foul trouble. And I think that hurt them a lot. Both teams, you know, both teams had quite a bit of fouls, but Wabash Valley got there a lot earlier. And I think that's got them in some trouble. Some key players had to be on the bench because of foul trouble. So surely he's kind of talking things over there. On the offensive end, they've been pretty good, but I think they, they want a little bit more, a little bit more drive and kick. And on this winning streak, the four-game winning streak they've been on, it's been a lot of drive and kick. A lot of Colleen Taylor and Daniel Robinson driving to the rack and either going for tough buckets, an and one, or kicking it to a shooter. Taylor and Robinson. Robinson's got eight points. He's been pretty good today. It's, Taylor's not been getting going as much, um, but I think that that's something they're going to look for the Warriors to do here more in the second half is trying to drive and then kick if they need to. They got a three ball from Henderson, a three ball from Razor Moore, and two of them from Muja Burton. Look for guys like Sprinkles if he plays more, some more from Henderson. And Robinson's been on a three-point streak. So has Taylor the last few games. They've both been shooting it pretty well. So look for some maybe more three-point opportunities in the second half for Wabash Valley. And then kind of just keep doing what they're doing on defense, except try not to foul as much. They played pretty good defense. Probably want to allow a few less points with 44 points given up in the first half. But right now they're just down one. Hopefully have some key players coming back in the second half. Going to take one last couple of minute break here at the halftime show, and then we'll be back with the start of the second half. So Swick up 44 to 43 at halftime. This one will be a great one all the way to the finish. Come back with us for the second half in two minutes. New year, new style. Timberlake Furniture is kicking off the new year with the biggest sale to date. Whether it's a new mattress, cozy sofa, large dining set, or a statement piece that steals the show, Timberlake Furniture has it all. 
And with this sales exclusive discounts, it's easier than ever to achieve your dream space. Make your house feel like home and stop by Timberlake Furniture to explore five acres of inspiration. There's a lot of things that you can do to help and reduce your heating bills over the winter time. You open the draperies in the house. Let the sun warm the interior of your home during the day. That helps reduce some of that heating load during the day. Consider installing programmable thermostats. You know, you can drop the temperature down while you're not there or in the evening times when you're asleep, make the house a little cooler and then have those programmable thermostats bring the temperature up uh, at the times you're actually in the home, uh, not away. You already know that the First National Bank is your real community bank, but have you met our people? It's the people inside that make us a community bank. We live here. We work here. We're your neighbors and your friends. When you bank with us, your money is reinvested in your community. At the First National Bank, our customers are more than an account number. People are the reason for this community. We're your hometown bank, serving the area since 1906. We are the First National Bank, where our people make the difference. Come see us today. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. College doesn't have to start at an expensive school far away. You can save money and be close to home at Wabash Valley College. Many careers only require a two-year degree or certificate. Or get your general education classes out of the way and transfer to a four-year school. Wabash Valley College has programs in high-demand careers such as physical therapy assistant, advanced manufacturing, marketing, business management, nursing, and radio television. To find out more about Wabash Valley College, go to iecc.edu slash wvc. Zach Reynolds back here with you. 89 won the bash. News Channel 15, the Warriors Sports Network here at the Spencer Sports Center. Blue Storm with a 1.44-43 lead over the Wabash Valley Warriors here at the Warriors home of the Spencer Sports Center. They are 6-0 at home this year, trying to protect that as they've done all season long here at the Spencer Sports Center. Wabash Valley, this quarter will be moving right to left, swift left to right. Wabash Valley to start with the ball. Robinson, McGowan, Razor Moore, Henderson, and Taylor, the five on the floor for your Warriors. And we're underway in the second half. Warriors with a chance to take the lead with a basket made here to start the half. Robinson up high, swings it to Henderson over the logo. Henderson letting things develop. Now left side, Robinson on the left wing. Around the screen from McGowan. Robinson cuts in, kicks to Henderson on the left wing, jab steps. Goes left, step back, spins around, kicks it to Taylor. Ten on the shot clock. Taylor driving in. Kicks it to Razor Moore. He's at the baseline. Short corner. Two-point jump shot. Left short. Rebound Hepker. Swick the other way. Chance to add to their one-point lead. Rufus handling it. Tried to throw it into Huddleston, and he corralled it. Almost got knocked away. Huddleston with it. Drives down. Spins. Lost the dribble. Taken away. Kaleem Taylor with it. Wabash Valley. Three on two. Henderson right wing. Three ball. Cash money. Henderson, second three of the game, his first of the second half, and Wabash Valley takes a 46-44 lead. The lights out three-point shooter, Henderson, does it again. Rufus on the right side, up top. Barber, he'll take a three. It's blocked by McGowan. Ball on the floor. Barber comes up with it in the right corner, or the left corner, rather. Almost threw that one away. Rufus, the ball on the floor again. Henderson takes it away, throws it up. Robinson. Off the glass, no, he laid it in anyway. Didn't need the glass. Five point swing, Robinson with 10. 48 to 44, a lead for Wabash Valley out of halftime. Rufus up top for Swick. Right corner, Meckham, he'll take a long three. That one's short and off to the right. Hepker tips the rebound right in the hands of Razor Moore. Up to Henderson, one on one. Now two and two, Henderson pulls up right elbow. Jump shot left short. Gets his own rebound, sneak through off the glass, and he got it. Leak through two guys right into Henderson's hands. Quickly the other way, and a timeout. Coach Jay Harrington wants a timeout for Swick. Wabash Valley, a 7-0 run out of halftime. It's 50-44, to 18-11 left in the second half. We'll be back here in 30 seconds. Make it a minute. 
Dave Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois, has a huge selection of Jeeps and Chryslers. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned inventory at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois, has a complete lineup of Fords. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned Fords at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. You already know that the First National Bank is your real community bank, but have you met our people? It's the people inside that make us a community bank. We live here. We work here. We're your neighbors and your friends. When you bank with us, your money is reinvested in your community. At the First National Bank, our customers are more than an account number. People are the reason for this community. We're your hometown bank, serving the area since 1906. We are the First National Bank, where our people... Back here in the Spencer Sports Center, Wabash Valley with a 7-0 run to start things off in the second half. They now lead 50 to 44 after being down 44 to 43 at halftime. Swick with the basketball, Barber with it. Lost his dribble, McGowan takes it away and it ends up in the hands of Ruvis. Back to Barber, driving, and he is fouled by Henderson. Henderson the blocking foul, Barber will go to the free throw line. Just Henderson's second foul. Henderson with 14 points. He's got five here in the second half already. Jamil Barber, a good free throw shooter, 81% on the year. He's 0 for 4 in the first half from the free throw line. Uncharacteristic of him. And he's making 0 for 5 today. Just not Barber's night at the three-point line. Vice versa, he's 20% on the year from three, and he's made two of them. Next free throw, missed again, 0 for 6 from the free throw line, Jamil Barber tonight. Rebounded McGowan, now Taylor will bring it up for Wabash Valley. Trying to add to the run, McGowan, working against Hepker, drives into the paint, spins out, kicks it in the corner to Razor Moore, and it went off of Razor Moore's finger, jammed his finger a little bit it looked like. So it'll be Swick's ball. So they'll bring it up, Rufus will run the point. He's got three points. Barber on the left wing, looking for a cutter now around the screen from Huddleston. Barber in at the free throw line. He'll pull up for a two-point jump shot. No good. Rebound McGowan. Finds an outlet pass to Robinson. To Taylor, left corner, Henderson. Driving, fouled by Rufus on the floor. Henderson, I can tell, is feeling himself here to start the second half. That's Rufus' third foul. So he'll have to be careful here only in the second half. Wabash Valley, 50 to 44 lead, 17-33 left in regulation. Robinson at the top of the key. Right side now to Taylor. Back to Robinson. Robinson guarded by Barber. Around a screen from McGowan. Drives in at the right block. Got a shot block and a foul called. And now a technical on Jamil Barber. So Robinson and the Warriors are going to have four free throws here. Robinson will have his two free throws, and then a technical foul on Barber should give Wabash Valley one or two more. So it'll be Lucas Henderson on the technical free throw. And that's now Barber's fourth foul, the technical that he picked up. Picked up two fouls right there, or just a one. Henderson's first free throw here, money. Five of six from the line tonight. He's got one more on the technical. And then it'll be Daniel Robinson shooting two. And then Wabash Valley will get the ball back because of the technical. Henderson made both of them. Henderson. Well, seven points here in the second half. Now Robinson at the free throw line. A chance to balloon this lead to 10 points. If Robinson can make both free throws, that's a, a four-point swing, and then Wabash Valley gets the ball back for another two or three, potentially. So Robinson at the free throw line, shooting two. First one up, another one net. Makes it 53 to 44, and if Robinson can hit this free throw, it's a 10-point game all of a sudden with Wabash Valley leading. Blue Storm still have not scored here in this half. Robinson didn't make it apparently with the technical foul, the ball doesn't go back to Wabash Valley. So 
Swift with the ball. Rufus hands to Huddleston. Top of the key. McGowan all over him. Hands off to Rufus. Over the right wing. Right corner. Saxton Hepker. Three ball. That one. Too strong. Huddleston the rebound. One dribble. Hop step. He got rejected by McGowan. Razor Moore the other way for Wabash Valley. Razor Moore bounce pass. Taylor at the, off the glass and good. Taylor's first field goal. Had a couple of free throws in the first half. That's 56 to 44. In the corner. Meckham drives. Foul by McGowan. McGowan thought he had another block. That'll be McGowan's third foul. So in Zube Meckham to the free throw line. It'll be his first free throw shots of the night. 56 to 44. 13 0 run to start the second half for Wabash Valley. 16 48 left in the second half. Meckham at the free throw line, a chance to give Swick their first points of the half. He made it, and with that, Swick is on the board in the second half here in the Spencer Sports Center. Great defense from Wabash Valley. And a lot of good offense, too. Meckham, second free throw, he made them both. Makes it a 10-point game, 56-46. to 46. Wabash Valley with the lead and the ball. 16-48 left in the second half. So full court pressure coming from Swick. Razor Moore to Robinson. He'll drive past Leonard and break the timeline. Now past Hepker. All the way in, just outside the block area, off the glass, no good. Put back slam by Razor Moore. He can fly with the best of them, and he showed it all right there. With authority. Right wing, Leonard with it. Working against Robinson. Robinson, hand in his face. Hepker almost lost the ball. He's in the free throw line. Now finds Huddleston at the block. Goes up, lays it in. Henderson tried for a charge, didn't get it. Good no call. Huddleston has six. Quickly the other way. Adrian Sprinkles in the corner. Right corner, driving on Hepker. Now at the block, spins. Up and under, off the glass. Sprinkles with the move. 60 to 48. The crowd into it. Hepker on the left wing, kicks it. Gets it back at the block, outside the block area. Little float away jumper. Now you can see why Hepker is the leading scorer. That was a pretty shot. Just four points for him today so far, though. Robinson hands off to Taylor in the right corner. Taylor inside the three-point line now steps it back out. Working against Huddleston. He'll pull up for a long two, in and out. Hepker the rebound. Hepker their leading scorer and rebounder. Rufus the other way, running the point. Kicks it. Leonard, left wing, three ball. Money. Leonard, second three-pointer of the game. And Coach McGee going to take a timeout. Blue Storm starting to find their rhythm in the second half. Wabash Valley with a 60-53 to 53 lead. 15-22 left in the second half. This one ain't over yet. A great game going down to the finish. We'll be back here in 30 seconds. You already know that the First National Bank is your real community bank, but have you met our people? It's the people inside that make us a community bank. We live here. We work here. We're your neighbors and your friends. When you bank with us, your money is reinvested in your community. At the First National Bank, our customers are more than an account number. People are the reason for this community. We're your hometown bank, serving the area since 1906. We are the First National Bank, where our people make the difference. Come see us today. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Back here at the Spencer Sports Center after the timeout called by Coach Terrence McGee. His Warrior squad leads right now 60 to 53, but the Blue Storm, after going the first four minutes without a bucket in the second half, is starting to find their rhythm. So it's 60 to 53. Wabash Valley with the ball. Full court pressure here from Swick. They break it easily, does Wabash Valley. Taylor drives to the left block. He's fouled by. Leonard, no shot. So Leonard picks up a foul there. That's just his first. Taylor will be on the trigger underneath and just to the left of his own basket. 25 on the shot clock. 15-17 on the game clock. Taylor's got the ball. Looking for help. Finds Razor Moore. Left elbow. Jump shot. Too easy for Razor Moore. That's his bread and butter. At the elbow. Rufus running the point for Coach Jay Harrington and Swift. Around a screen from Huddleston. He went left at the left block. Bounce pass. Great pass. Leonard throws up a shot. He's fouled by Taylor. Taylor didn't like it. Hands on his head. But Nazir Leonard back to the free throw line. A great pass there from Rufus. That's why he runs the point. That one was through a bunch of traffic through the paint, and it was right on the money for Leonard. Credit to Dallas Rufus on that. Okay. 
Leonard at the free throw line. That one's good. Leonard shot a lot of free throws. That was his 12th free throw today. And he's made eight of them, make it nine of 13. 62-55, Wabash Valley still the lead. Breaking the press with the passes here. Taylor across the court to Robinson across the timeline. Way up high right side, finds Sprinkles in the ring. In the corner, kicks it opposite corner. Taylor drives in, tried to find Burton in the right corner and threw it away. Leonard picked it off. Swept the other way, building momentum. Hefker at the free throw line, backs down, raises more, picked up the dribble. Fade away jump shot, that's good. Hefker can shoot it from mid-range with the best of them. He's starting to heat up. He's got six now. Four in this half. Burton quickly down in the corner. He picked up the dribble. Kicked it to the top of the key. Sprinkles. Right wing, wide open. Daniel Robinson, three ball is money. Robinson. Robinson's first three-pointer of the game. He's got 14 points. Rufus to Hepker on the right wing. Now Leonard. He'll pull up for three from the right wing. Robinson in his face. Shots off. Rebound to Taylor. Taylor looking up. A fine razor more. Bounce pass down to Robinson, got knocked away. Meckham, good defense. Robinson was open, but Meckham knocked away the pass. Now, Meckham fouled by Robinson going the other way. Robinson tried to cut him off. 65 to 67. Wabash Valley with the lead. 13 minutes, 59 seconds left in the second half. Julian McGowan going to check in for Daniel Robinson. McGowan himself playing with three fouls. McGowan, Sprinkles, Taylor, Razormore, and Burton on the floor for the Warriors. Meckham, Leonard, Huddleston, Rufus, and Hepker on the floor for Swick. Swick with the basketball, the inbound just to the left of their own bench. It'll be Dallas Rufus, the point guard, on the inbound. They're getting some sweat cleaned up here. Want the player's safety. It'll be 26 on the shot clock for the Blue Storm. Each team with four team fouls in the second half. So before too long, both teams will be right back in bonus. Physical game here, and now we need a second rag out here to clean up the sweat. Both teams have been playing hard and sweating a lot. Everybody using their shoes, using their rags, doing everything they can here, right? Just, just on the right side of the half court mark. Kind of in between the logo and the three-point line. Now they've got it cleaned up. So we'll resume play here. Swick trying to cut in to the deficit. Wabash Valley trying to hold it right there. Leonard gets the inbound pass. He'll go around a screen up high from Huddleston. Now it's the top of the key. He'll drive to the right block. Goes up against McGowan, and he got it off the glass. McGowan had to just stay straight up. Couldn't jump and block it because he didn't want to risk a fourth foul. Quickly the other way, Sprinkles, hands off to Burton. He'll cut in at the right block. He got it. He left a wide open lane to the block and Burton took it. Quickly the other way. Rufus and a moving screen on Saxton Hepker. Hepker commits the offensive foul. He's now got three fouls. He's in a bit of foul trouble. Burton got the brunt into that one. That was kind of a throwaway pick too. I mean, Rufus wasn't even really using it and Hepker just got into him. Burton seems to be okay, though. So the offensive foul works out for Wabash Valley. A two-point basket can make it a 10-point lead again for the Warriors. Claim Taylor will bring it up and run the point. Leonard will pick him up at the half court. Taylor dribbles towards the left side. Now I'll swing it up top over the logo, Razor Moore. Back to Taylor on the left wing. Around a couple of screens at the top. Now he'll find McGowan. And he goes up off the glass over Hepker. McGowan with a nice finish, his first points of the game. Quickly the other way, Leonard blocked by McGowan. High up off the glass, Wabash Valley the other way. Sprinkles with it, two on two. Burton, right corner, jab step. Cuts into the elbow. He'll split two defenders and it's good. The two bigger defenders didn't matter for Mujah Burton. 71-59. McGowan the defense, Burton the offense, Hepker. In the block area, kicks it to Meckham. Now on the right block, Huddleston. He'll spin against McGowan. It's up and in. Huddleston showing off his skills. He's got eight. 10-point game, 71-61. 12-35.
left in the second half. Wabash Valley with a 10-point lead, trying to add to it. Taylor up high left side, swings to Burton over the logo. Burton will drive left, hand off to Taylor. Taylor around a screen. Kicks it to McGowan at the block. He was open for a second. Huddleston recovers. Up top now. Taylor will drive. 10 on the shot clock. Taylor to the rack with his opposite hand and didn't get it to go in, but he got fouled. That's going to be on Leonard, it looks like. So now Swick also in some foul trouble. They've got Rufus with three. Barber with four. Hepker and Leonard each with three. Taylor at the free throw line. And Coach Jay Harrington wants a timeout to talk things over. Wabash Valley showing off some defense and some offense. They lead 71 to 61, 12 17. Left here in the second half. We'll take a one minute break and be right back. The Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has now. There's a lot of things that you can do to help and reduce your heating bills over the winter time. Open the draperies in the house. Let the sun warm the interior of your home during the day. That helps reduce some of that heating load during the day. Consider installing programmable thermostats. You know, you can drop the temperature down while you're not there or in the evening times when you're asleep, make the house a little cooler and then have those programmable thermostats bring the temperature up uh, at the times you're actually in the home, uh, not away. Before coming to Senior Enrichment Center, I was so depressed that I couldn't get out of bed. That all changed once I started seeing Danielle, the social worker, and Melanie, the nurse. They have been so kind and they are truly care about my health. They have helped me to be able to go out and have shown me the importance of how to deal with my problems in a more constructive way. I think anyone who is experiencing grief, depression, anxiety, or isolation can benefit from this program. The Senior Enrichment Center has changed my life. Zach Reynolds back here with the 89 won the Bash News Channel 15 YouTube, the Warrior Sport Network. Warriors right now with a 10 point lead over the Blue Storm from Swick. 12 minutes, 17 seconds left in the second half. Big time around, a couple of blocks from Julian McGowan. Some offense and some free throws. Taylor at the free throw line now after the timeout. Chance to add to that 10 point lead. Taylor, one of three from the line tonight. That one's up and it's good. 77% shooter on the year from the free throw line. Big time slasher for Wabash Valley. Second free throw is money as well. Gives him six points. 73-61 is the score. Swift with the basketball, 12 minutes left. Up top, Roof is with it, guarded by Taylor. Picked up his dribble. Finds Little, or excuse me, Leonard. Leonard into Hepker, turnaround jump shot, and it rolls off. Almost had it. Outlet pass from McGowan to Sprinkles. Back to McGowan. One dribble. Gather step, kicks. Razor Moore, short corner, two point jump shot. Left short, rebound, Huddleston. Huddleston will hand off to Rufus. He'll go up in a hurry. Kicks it to Leonard. Thought about the three. Jabs. Now he'll kick over to Rufus. Now right side. Meckham drives towards the baseline. Spins back left. Kicks it. Rufus on the three-point line, drives in, floater from the free throw line, rolls around and falls off. McGowan, another rebound, a rebounding machine. Quickly up to Taylor in the left corner. Around the screen from McGowan. At the elbow, he'll swing it. Sprinkles, right wing, back to Taylor. Left wing, three ball. Well, short, missed the rim. Taylor just didn't have the feel on that one. Ends up out of bounds. It'll be Swick basketball. A good look. I don't hate that shot. He was open. It was in rhythm. Just left it a little short. Rufus the other way, right side with it, Meckham. Now Leonard. Thought about the three, now take it, sprinkles in his face, doesn't matter, nothing but net for Nazir Leonard. Third three ball of the game for him. Kid likes to shoot it, and I can see why. He's got a good stroke from behind the arc. Moore up top, swings to Burton, left, high up high, uh, left side up high. 20 on the shot clock, now McGowan, top of the key. Right side with Taylor. Here comes the screen from McGowan, Taylor will go around it to the left. Kicks it to the corner. Sprinkles, left corner. Working against Hepker. Drives into the paint. Kicks it. Burton, right wing. Three ball. Money! Burton's got three three-pointers now. Filling it from behind the arc. Hepker, top of the key. Picked up his dribble. Swings it to Rufus, left side. Now up top of Leonard. He'll find Hulson at the right elbow. One dribble. Spins around. Should have got a, been called for a travel. Instead, Hepker, pump fake, steps in for two. It's left short. Raise him more than rebound. Raise Moore will bring it the other way now. Swings it up to Sprinkles on the left wing. 
On the dribble now, working against Huddleston. Drives in behind the back at the left elbow. Spins into the restricted line off the glass. Took the big man to town. Did Adrian Sprinkles showing out the dribble moves and the finish. He's got six points. All on dribble drives. Rufus sets up. He'll direct traffic for Swick. 78-64 lead for Wabash Valley. 9.55 left. Dribble handoff. Leonard up top. Now he'll drive towards the right block. Goes up against Burton and one. Nazir Little or Nazir Leonard. He is feeling it today. Burton picks up a foul. That'll be his second. And Leonard's got 27 points. Most of them on free throws, but he's also got three three balls. Well, at this point, he's scoring it in every way possible. Takes a lot of shots. Second of the free throws up, he completed it both. Make it 28 points for number 24, Nazir Leonard. Trying to keep Swick in it. They're within nine here. Or 11, excuse me. Wabash Valley, an 11-point lead. Sprinkles over the logo. Now left side to Taylor. Taylor on the left wing will drive towards the left block. Spins. Throws up a little hook shot and it falls. <laughs> Taylor, the strong slasher, got that one to go. It's 80-67. Roof of the top of the key, thought about the three and said he'll pull it out, run some offense. Right side, Leonard. Gets it in the host and at the right block. One dribble, shuffle his feet. Razor Moore blocks him. Almost had his own rebound. Instead, Burton comes away with it. Three on three, Burton to Taylor at the right block off the glass and good. Taylor with four in a row. It's 82-67, nine minutes left. Wabash Valley starting to pull away a little bit. Still a lot of time left. Rufus over the right wing. Working against Burton. Now towards the right corner, he'll dribble it back up. Picks up his dribble, finds Hepker just outside the right block. He spins, goes up at the block. Hepker can score it. That guy's got some moves for sure. He's got eight. They're their leading scorer. Sprinkles quickly on the left wing. He'll drive against Hepker. Now he'll kick it. Top of the key, McGowan. McGowan looking for help. Now he'll go on the dribble. Working against Hartlestein. He almost lost it. Passes in the corner. Extra pass to Razor Moore outside on the right wing. 15 on the shot clock. Razor Moore spins at the right elbow. Kicks it up top, Burton with it. Fake the pass left, jabs. Now he'll slow it down, eight on the shot clock. Burton over the logo, around the screen for McGowan. Four on the shot clock, three. Burton throws up a shot. It just barely hits the rim, rebound to Rufus going the other way. And Burton fouls him. Burton now with three fouls. Terrence McGee wanted a bump on the pump fake on the other end before Burton shot, you can hear McGee yelling out, that's a bump, but didn't get the call. He's got the lead right now, 82 to 69. Taylor to the bench. Five on the floor for Wabash Valley. Robinson, Sprinkles, Razor Moore, Burton, and McGowan. Meckham gets it into Rufus, 25 on the shot clock. Leonard on the right wing, he'll pull up for three in Robinson's face, it's money. He is unconscious today. Man in his face, it doesn't matter. Leonard's feeling it. Gets him within 10, 82-72. Robinson up high on the left side, asking for a play from Coach McGee. Now on the logo, it's Burton directing traffic. Now Robinson, right side, short right corner. Thought about pulling up for two, now he spin, spins around and he's fouled. Rufus fouled him trying to take it away from him. That's four fouls I've got on Dallas Rufus. And that is, that's four fouls. He's gonna have to be careful. He's their point guard, their best ball handler really, running the offense and he's one foul away from being fouled out. He's going to stay in the game as of right now. Now here comes Jamil Barber, and we'll see if he checks in for... He does. So Jamil Barber, who's got four fouls, checks in for Dallas Rufus, who also has four fouls. Daniel Robinson at the free throw line, one or two on the line from the, from the line tonight. Free throw up, it's good. And he made both of them. 84 to 72, 12 point lead for Wabash Valley. 735 left in regulation. Meckham into the free throw line. Huddleston faked the handoff back to Meadow. He still got it. Now Meckham on the left side will drive in. Gets it stripped away by Sprinkles. Sprinkles between the legs, gets past Meckham. Throws it up to Razor Moore. He's fouled by Little. They didn't call it Razor Moore. Then is fouled on the shot. And that's gonna foul out Jamil Barber. 
Jamil Barber fouled Razor Moore as he got the ball back. And so he will, he will be done. And so now Rufus with four fouls checks back in for Barber who just fouled out. Razor Moore to the free throw line. It'll be two for him as he was fouled on a putback shot attempt. Razor Moore about an 85% free throw shooter on the year. Shot up and it's good. 85 to 72, seven minutes, 20 seconds left in this one. Wabash Valley with a nice lead, but far from over in Greg basketball play. That one, nothing but net as well, 86-72 now. Rufus will run the point for Swick, coached by Jay Harrington. Rufus around a screen from Huddleston up top. Now Hepker, he'll drive in, right elbow, pulls up, kicks it across. Burton knocks it away momentarily, ball on the floor. McGowan's got his hands on it. That's going to be a jump ball. It'll stay with Swick. McGowan showing the hustle he always does, always hustling back with chase down blocks, diving on the floor. That's why you got to love Julian McGowan when he's on the floor for you. Breaks Swicks away, though. They keep, keep it with the possession arrow. 16 on the shot clock. Rufus on the trigger. Finds Leonard. Short corner. Two ball. That's good. Of course it is for Nazir Leonard. He has not missed a shot in a while unless he was hacked on a foul. Robinson the other way looks to Coach McGee for the play. Now he'll swing it over to Sprinkles, up high right side. 20 on the shot clock. Sprinkles around a screen from McGowan. He'll go on the drive, into the free throw line, spins in the paint, kicks it out. Razor Moore, right wing, three ball, money! Razor Moore, second three ball. Sprinkles playing really well in the second half after he had foul trouble in the first half. Hepker, pump fakes the three, now kicks it over. Meckham on the left wing. Rufus will take a three from the left corner, that's too strong. Huddleston fouled. McGowan going up for the rebound. Wabash Valley in the bonus. McGowan will be going to the line for a one and one. Huddleston with three now. Kaleem Taylor is going to check in for Mujah Burton. Demarcus Bean, the big man, the tall, muscular lefty, is going to check in for Huddleston on the Swick side. McGowan at the line for one and one. He's got to make the first to earn the second. McGowan, a 66% free throw shooter on the year. Makes the first one and earns the second. That one was nothing but net. Makes it 90 to 74. Wabash Valley putting it on an offensive clinic today, already at 90 points, still with six and a half minutes left. Second free throw, good as well. Raymond Azike checks in for the first time tonight. Sprinkles to the bench. Azike, the 6'8 big man for Wabash Valley. Looks like zone defense now from Wabash Valley. Azike up top. Right side with it is Meckham. Throws in the middle, taken away. Now taken right back. Ends up out of bounds. Goes Wabash Valley's way. Taylor with the steal. Meckham knocked it away momentarily. But it'll stay with Wabash Valley. Southwestern Illinois takes the timeout. Wabash Valley with a commanding 91-74 lead. 6'13 left in this one. We'll be back here in one minute. The Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has an outstanding service department. With free pickup and delivery, we'll make sure your vehicle runs perfectly at an affordable price. Come see us today or view our service specials at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. News Channel 15, winner of the Intercollegiate Broadcasting System Award for the nation's best community college TV station. Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a huge selection of Jeeps and Chryslers. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned inventory at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a complete lineup of Fords. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned Fords at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Back here at the Spencer Sports Center, Wabash Valley with a 91 to 74 lead over the Blue Storm from Southwestern Illinois College. Six minutes, 13 seconds left here in regulation. Wabash Valley, big time lead. They've had a great second half. 
They had 43 points at halftime. They've got 91 now. They have put on an absolute offensive clinic, especially in the second half. They've got the ball here, moving right to left, trying to add to this big lead. Robinson to run the point, swings over to Taylor up high on the right side. Finds Ezeke in the short corner. Short right corner, back out to Taylor. Up top, top of the key, Razor Moore with it. Now back to Taylor. 10 on the shot clock, Taylor back to Razor Moore. Left side, McGowan, under 10. Robinson, bounce pass, Ezeke has it. Put it on the floor, got it stripped away, Hepker has it. Turnover against Wabash Valley. Rufus, run the point with four fouls for Swick. Swings over to Leonard, who's been playing out of his mind. Finds Bean, and he's fouled on the entry pass. It's going to be Azike. 33 points in this one for Nazir Leonard for Swick. 33 of their 74. Been really good in the second half, but nobody else has been helping him out really in the second half. Hepter's been pretty good, but Wabash Valley's offense has just taken over. Had a 13-0 run to start. The second half. Bean at the free throw line for the bonus. Missed it, but Leonard gets a put back and one. Of who else? But Nazir Leonard put back. It fell and then kind of a weak foul call, so he'll go to the line for an and one. So he's got 35 now. He'll add to his, I'm going to assume, career high. But Wabash Valley still with a big lead, but a lot of times he missed the free throw. Bean gets it back in the putback. Big swing there for Swig. They got a lot of points in just a, without any time coming off the clock that way. 91-78. Taylor around the screen for McGowan. Cuts in for free throw line. Kicks it left wing. Razor Moore, three ball in and out. Rebound to Rufus. Quickly up to Leonard. 91-78. Into Hepker at the left elbow. Now outside the left block. He's almost traveled. They didn't call it. Finds Meckham off the back iron and falls. Meckham has got 10. Now all of a sudden, Blue Storm coming back a little bit. They're within 11. Razor Moore, it's out the key. Goes into the paint, kicks out. Sprinkles, left wing, three ball. Hits the front of the rim, just left it a little short. Rufus the other way. Chance to get within single digits. Hepker picked it up. He's in the short corner. Finds Bean, one power dribble. Spinning around, hook shot. In and out. Rebound out of bounds off of Meckham. It's Wabash Valley ball. Blue Storm finding some, some momentum here in the last five minutes or four minutes, 40 seconds left. Wabash Valley with an 11 point lead. Lucas Henderson's gonna check back in. Sprinkles to the bench. Five on the floor are Razor Moore, Taylor, Henderson, McGowan, and Robinson. Taylor brings it up, calls out the play. Taylor will get it to Robinson over the logo. Now left side, Henderson. Henderson finds Taylor at the top, now right side. Robinson into the free throw line, knocked out of Henderson's hand. The other way, Swick goes. Leonard with it, off the glass and good. They didn't want to foul him. Leonard adds to his total. 91-82, Swick within nine. Wabash Valley wants a timeout, try to put a stop to this run. Wabash Valley, 91-82 lead, but the Blue Storm kind of creeping back. Four minutes, 10 seconds left. We'll be back for an electric finish to this one in one minute. College doesn't have to start at an expensive school far away. You can save money and be close to home at Wabash Valley College. Many careers only require a two-year degree or certificate. Or get your general education classes out of the way and transfer to a four-year school. Wabash Valley College has programs in high-demand careers such as physical therapy assistant, advanced manufacturing, marketing, business management, nursing, and radio television. To find out more about Wabash Valley College, go to iecc.edu slash wvc. The Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has an outstanding service department. With free pickup and delivery, we'll make sure your vehicle runs perfectly at an affordable price. Come see us today or view our service specials at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. News Channel 15, winner of the Intercollegiate Broadcasting System Award for the nation's best community college TV station. Nine-point game here. Grack play is always great in men's basketball. And got another great matchup here in the Spencer Sports Center. Right now, Wabash Valley leads 91-82 to over the Blue Storm, but they led by 
close to 15 just moments ago. And Blue Storm rallying back uh, all game long. Each team has had their, their runs, and right now the Blue Storm on one. Wabash Valley with the ball called that timeout to Coach Terrence McGee try to slow things down, get his offense back on track. Right side, Henderson with it. 20 on the shot clock, now gets it to Taylor over the logo. Left wing, Robinson. Against this zone defense, 2-3 zone, Henderson over the logo. 10 on the shot clock, Taylor, right wing. Over to Henderson. Into the free throw line, and Razor Moore is fouled by Bean. Razor Moore to the free throw line. Wabash Valley with two shots all the way now with the double bonus. Ten team fouls against Swig. So this could be a free throw game here to help Wabash Valley put an end to it. Now they've got to make those free throws. Razor Moore, five of six from the line tonight. Made that one, another Manette. Razor Moore with 18 points here tonight. Average is about 17. Burton checks in for Henderson. Burton's had a hot hand shooting here tonight. He's got three three-pointers. Razor Moore, second free throw, too strong, and falls off to the right. Missed it. 92-82, 10-point lead. Swick the other way. Rufus hands off to Leonard. He's got 37. He'll hand off to Meckham. Letting things develop. Under 20 on the shot clock, now 15 on the shot clock. Rufus top of the key, kicks to Hepker on the left wing. Pump fake, spin around, trying to take Taylor down. He'll turn around, fade away, jump shot. It is another Manette. Hepker can score it easy that way. He's got 10 points. Great fadeaway shooter. Taylor over the, logo, over the logo. Calls out the offense. It's 2-3 zone for Swick. Left corner, Razor Moore with it. Now to the left wing with Burton. 13 on the shot clock, Robinson back out. Burton, left wing, three ball, money! That's how you beat the zone, you get it into the middle and you kick it right back out for three. Work that time. Rufus the other way, kicks to Leonard, right wing, three ball. Off to the right, rebound McGowan. McGowan going the other way. Two on two, now Swick recovers, they've got the numbers. So McGowan will slow it down, finds Burton, extra pass. Robinson in the left corner, he'll bring it out. 20 on the shot clock, Robinson will set up some offense, run a clock a little bit. Clock on Wabash Valley side. 15 on the shot clock. Razor Moore at the free throw line. Kicks. Burton left wing. Pump fake. Dribbling around. Working against Hepker. Eight on the shot clock. Now Robinson up high. Back to Burton. Goes to the baseline. Spins back right. Three on the shot clock. Robinson left corner. Three ball. Money at the buzzer. 98-84. Rufus the other way. Wabash Valley a couple of three-pointers in a row to build the lead back up. 98-84. Rufus around a screen from Bean. Kicks to Hepker, top of the key. Now right wing. Leonard with it. He'll drive in the paint. Hop step. Lost the dribble. That's a travel. They didn't call it. He's blocked from behind by Taylor. Ball still up in the air. Out of bounds. No call yet. It's Wabash Valley basketball. Leonard wanted to. I mean, he got away with it. A very obvious travel there, but Taylor blocked his shot anyway to make sure that they didn't pay for the missed call. 98-84. Under two minutes now, 157 to be exact. Robinson will bring it up the court. Now you just got to take care of the basketball. Use the clock, don't turn it over. And you've got yourself a fifth one in a row if you're the Warriors. But it's easier said than done. Robinson up high, dribbling around. 18 on the shot clock. Robinson over the logo, around the screen from McGowan. Now cuts in. Finds Razor Moore, just barely missed him. McGee wants a tipped pass to keep a Wabash Valley ball, not going to get it. Robinson missed Razor Moore, couldn't sync it up. Still 98-84. Swick the other way, left to right. Rufus with it. Burton on him. Rufus around the screen. Finds Leonard into the paint area, lost it. Should have been a tie-up, didn't call it, and he gets an and one. That's, oh boy. Uh, he had, I mean, McGowan had his palm on the ball for at least three seconds. That's textbook tie-up, but the referees were not in a good position to see it. And instead, Leonard gets put, uh, put back and won. And uh, Zero Leonard has a chance, if he hits this free throw, would be a 40-point ga uh, game for him. Trying to will his team back into it. Man, it looks like, I'm not sure that a, an official timeout was called. Coach McGee asking for something here. The referees go on the scorer's table. 
And now, now we're working on if who has uh, the right amount of timeouts. We got a mess right here, right now. We're gonna come back. They're gonna come back out onto the floor. Sprinkles checks in. Oh, it looks like McGowan got called for that weak foul, and he fouled out because of it. So that's two games in a row that McGowan has fouled out. Fans here at Wabash Valley, including Coach Terrence McGee, not happy about it. A guy with 39 points probably didn't need help on that foul call. Leonard's free throw's good. He's got 40 points, but his team's down by 11 with a minute and a half left. Taylor across the timeline. And he's no foul call. That's going to be, they're still not calling anything, and Swick takes the ball away. And now Leonard will pull up for right wing for three. That's well off. He airballed it. Saved inbounds. No, they won't. They say that Razor Moore's foot was down first. So all of a sudden, you know, Swick being given a chance here to get back into this one. Minute eight left. Getting some help from the whistle. Rufus on the trigger. Trying to find somebody. Throws it up to Leonard over the left wing. He'll throw it down into Huddleston. He lays it in. Huddleston with 10. 98-89, full court pressure. Wabash Valley just got to keep a hold of the basketball. Razor Moore on the dribble, throws this one up to Taylor, ahead of the pack. He pump fakes, he's fouled hard by Huddleston. He'll have two free throws. So Taylor with a chance at two free throws. If he makes them both, Wabash Valley will hit the century mark, which is pretty impressive in college basketball. Taylor's first free throw up. Missed it off the back iron. 52.8 seconds left. And Coach Jay Harrington going to take a timeout, talk things over with his squad. Wabash Valley with a 98-89 lead. Pretty big lead with just a minute left, but crazier things have happened. 52.8 seconds left. Be back for the end of this one in one minute. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a huge selection of Jeeps and Chryslers. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned inventory at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a complete lineup of Fords. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned Fords at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. There's a lot of things that you can do to help and reduce your heating bills over the winter time. Open the draperies in the house. Let the sun warm the interior of your home during the day. That helps reduce some of that heating load during the day. Consider installing programmable thermostats. You know, you can drop the temperature down while you're not there or in the evening times when you're asleep, make the house a little cooler and then have those programmable thermostats bring the temperature up uh, at the times you're actually in the home, uh, not away. Zach Ronch here on 89 on the Bash and News Channel 15 YouTube, the Warriors Sports Network. Blaine Taylor at the free throw line. He's got one more here out of the timeout. If he makes it, it'd be a 10 point lead for Wabash Valley with 52.8 seconds left facing off against Swick. Taylor, the free throw, good. 99 to 89, 10 point lead. 52.8 seconds left. Ezeke, the big man, 6'8", going to check in for Taylor, get some size and defense on the floor for Wabash Valley. Rufus to bring it up. Sprinkles will guard him. 45 seconds left. Leonard lost the ball out of bounds. Wabash Valley ball. Ran that play multiple times to him. That time he couldn't quite handle the pass, kicked it out of bounds. Henderson going to check in now. Now to do a little offense for defense switch. Henderson in for Ezekiel. Henderson a better free throw shooter. And ball handler. Razor Moore inbounds to Robinson. Now back to Razor Moore. He'll go on the dribble. Bounce pass up to Robinson across the timeline. Now they'll slow it down. Try to force a foul. They got a 10 point lead. 35 seconds left. 20 on the shot clock. Robinson putting on a dribble clinic. Gets it to Razor Moore. Right wing. Henderson. He'll dribble it back out. Kill some more clock. 13 on the shot clock. He's trapped. Finds sprinkles. Finds Razor Moore. Bounce pass or picked it up, kept his. Oh, now they say he dragged. They say he dragged his, his pivot foot. And 
It'll be a turnover, so Swick gets it back with 21.4 seconds, still a 10-point hill to climb for him. Sprinkle's going to provide some full-court pressure on Rufus. Now he'll lay it back a little bit. Rufus quickly the other way, drives in, pulls up from the left elbow, left it well, short and air ball. Ends up out of bounds, Wabash Valley ball. 12.8 seconds left, a 10 point lead, the crowd getting into it now. Wabash Valley, seconds away from another victory. And they've got it. Wabash Valley, five in a row. They're still 7-0 undefeated at home. Still just one loss in conference play. Wabash Valley, on a roll, they win this one 99-89. to Wabash Valley, a big 10-point lead. A monstrous offensive performance in the second half. 44 to 43 at halftime, and they ended up winning 99 to 89. Big time performances from Brandon Razor Moore, from Mujal Burton, from McGowan on the defensive end. Robinson had a great game. Wabash Valley on a roll. Great defense, great offense. They've won five in a row, and they are undefeated at home. For everybody here at 89, won the bash and the Warriors Sports Network, News Channel 15, YouTube. The Warriors won again, five in a row, 99 to 89. I'm Zach Reynolds. We'll see you next time on Saturday at Vincennes.